Howdy y'all, I'm Around the Wheel, you're watching Living's 2 of the Tribes, we're continuing our trek through the Highland Tribe, we're almost done with it. Three levels from finishing, and this is the first of those three, the White Heather Club. Man, there are so many references to Scotland that I am not getting here, because I'm just an ignorant American. I love learning about other countries and all these things, and I'm glad y'all are telling me these references. Those are the kinds of things I love hearing about. So, uh, yeah, someone please tell me what the White Heather Club is all about and what that means. We've got five minutes and a nice little assortment of jobs here. Uh, nothing too objectionable, it looks like, in terms of possibly jank. Although, I don't... There could be a chain maybe hanging around somewhere. I don't know. Someone said there was another cannon level left in this tribe. And, uh, uh, well, this appears to be it. So, we're getting to right here. So we're going to... Hey, and there is a chain. There's... Oh, boy. Cannons and chains. I don't find the cannon as janky as uh, some have... Uh... Okay, so we're going to go ahead and... As some have said. We're going to go ahead and let one person go in the cannon. We should probably take it up against the wall after that. So one person going ahead to free everybody else. There's no runner, so... All right, so we're going to let this guy go with it. Or this is one of those I'm just kind of... It seems like one that benefits from me just kind of feeling it out. I think if I leave the cannon here, he's going to get in and... Oh, hey, is he blooped into the water. So, okay, it may be the kind of thing... Maybe the kind of thing I want to get the chain going. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to want to get the chain going first. I'm going to go ahead and do that. Somebody will walk to this. And as soon as I hear the thing go off... Let's see here. Okay, yeah, there it goes. Oh, dang it. Ah, yeah, you got to be careful with pausing. Because somebody's going to get in and then... Yeah. So, I'm going to go ahead and do this like this. This will swing the chain around just fine as well. And then I can just move the... Okay, well, I thought I could do that. Okay, there we go. Oh, no, the chain didn't... The chain did not coincide with the... There we go. Well, that kind of works. Okay, yeah, that'll launch them into the wall. So that keeps them from going anywhere. So, yeah, I need to get one over the edge. And I need to kind of time the chain swing with the... Okay, yeah. So I need to time this a little better. Maybe, maybe hold off a little bit before doing the fan okay so he's gonna get in and, and then kaboom this is the time to move the cannon okay yeah that's gonna be tough to time but it can be done i think and i think yeah i'm gonna prefer to do it that way i see the hopper maybe just jump over here hop 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 oh yeah this is this is pretty simple stuff. We shouldn't be needing to use the cannon much at all, really. Can they walk over that if I go platformer, platformer? Yeah, I think I can avoid using the cannon entirely. So once it's once it's parked up against here, I can leave it there. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and wait a minute before I... I'm going to wait even more before I... Okay, yeah, now I, okay, hopefully the timing is right here. Okay, now, yeah, it's still not quite there. It's going to take me getting that to carry this off. All right, I'm going to try moving the cannon forward to about a little more than halfway over here. So where does that get us to? That blasts you to, okay, that's... That could work. Okay, let's see what's over here. So I'd have to jump to avoid the flower on the golf course. Then come down here. Yeah, that would make that a lot easier, probably. I'm going to be pretty free with my restarting here. Just because I want to avoid cannon glitch. But I think I can work this out pretty well. So I'm going to let you blast there. And then as soon as you blast off, I'm going to move the cannon over to the far right so that everybody goes into the wall. There we go. Yeah, plenty easy to catch up to. Plenty easy. Okay. So that means that I do you here and then start 
start blowing the not too late n not too soon not too late okay that's a pretty good spot there i'm gonna let it stop swinging a bit oh oh don't go in the water don't go in the ah <laughs> right on top of the little rock that is unfortunate that stinks but i think i think that's much easier than trying to go straight can into chain in fact I e i'm not even sure if that's possible to do straight from cannon onto chain they may be in the middle of another animation at the time all right so yeah so then you jumped here let's try to do this a little more cleanly this time so let's go ahead we'll wait till you're in visual range and then we'll start blowing here okay all right and then bopsies yes okay that's what i'm looking for okay so now we want to hop over this Okay, yeah, so that's what I wanted, was to get down to here so that I could start using the hopper. So, okay, you go there, okay, and then you'll hit your head, and then we'll come back and we'll do it again. All right. Boom, 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 boom. Okay, so now we hop again, and... Ooh! Oh, no. Too low a ceiling. No, we don't do that. Okay. Well, that changes the complexion of this over here a little, because I was planning to platform and then platform up here to give them a little boost. Oh, I have two bashers. I can just bash through this, so it's still fine. I just have to pick a good spot to laser blast in. Uh, yeah, it's going to be this low dip right here, so yeah, I'm going to want to get that. So get them going there. Low dip, maybe... Yeah, platform first, then laser blast. Yeah, okay, okay, yeah. I've got this worked out. It was just getting somebody down here that was the hard part. From there, it's easy peasy. All right, so we're going to want to platform across here instead of hopping. Got it. I think, yeah, that should only take one platform. Oh, yeah, definitely. We're definitely in safe range for that. So from here, we are going to, actually, from here, we're completely safe. If we were to, well, not completely safe. But we're not going to be screwing anything up. We're just going to bash right here. Oh, yeah. This should be simple. This is just... From here, it's just waiting for Lemmings to stop playing with the cannon. And they should do that pretty quickly once I make a once I make a gap right here. So we're going to go ahead and get you into position. Okay, I don't think he'll walk up over there. Oh, yeah, he does. Okay, fine. Sure, sure, sure. And then, yeah, go ahead and platform to here. Not bash just yet. This is where we want a laser blast. This is going to reduce the drop height the most. Perfection. Okay, so go ahead and here. There we go. That's some good laser blasting, boy. So now we're going to... All right, there we go. Fantastic. A safe, a safe drop for everybody. We're just going to leave the cannon where it is and bash to the end. Oh, wow. That happened so quickly that I wasn't even sure if I did it right. So there we go. So I think only one more, two more loomings are going to play around with the... Oh, this is why we have jumpers. Okay. All right. So they need to jump past the trigger point. Okay. Wow, that's actually a pretty clever use of jumpers. Just say no to cannons, kids. Go ahead and hop, hop, hop. There we go. There's our last three stragglers. <laughs> that's, a, that's actually a pretty cute use of the jumper to have them avoid the cannon trigger i like that quite a bit and that should be 58 59 60 there we go very good every lemming saved there we are so now we move on to level nine of highland okay that one wasn't so bad uh, if that's the cannon level that something like that there was someone was talking about oh there's another cannon level watch out if that's the level that uh you were talking about whoever that person was i forget now uh then it wasn't so bad a one I like it when you don't have to rely on the cannon. When the cannon is just more kind of something you have to move around a little bit to make things ideal. Take a running jump. That's a... Well, did they use that level name in the original Lemmings? Was it, was it exactly that name or was it like take a running leap or something? We got one pair of Icarus wings. That's a skill we've never used. We've had it offered to us, but we've never used it of it. One attractor, so you know that's coming. So, oh, and a runner. Oh, my. Okay. <laughs> okay, this this might get uh, this might get funky. I love using the runner, though. The runner always ups the stakes a little bit uh, in a good way. So, 
Let's see what we've got here. Take a running jump. Oh, well, gee, how... Okay. Wow, boy, this is a wide open level. Where's the exit? Oh, man, okay, this is... Okay, what are we going to be doing here? Will, will the puppy transport them? That'd be fun. <laughs> so we're probably going to be platforming over this. Do we have a laser blaster to dig them? No, we don't. Okay. Wow, this is fascinating. So we're going to be... Alright, we're going to be going... Looks like down the way here and around. Do we have any bat... We have flamethrowers. Ooh, flamethrowers are going to make that difficult. So we want to get down to about here and come through here, I think. Go along the Clyde Bill way here. Alright. We want to get everybody to roughly... So we want to go up to here. Jump over the... Maybe not quite jump over the... Well, maybe. Jump over the exit. We only have one jumper, I think. We have three jumpers. That's still jumper, right? Yeah, okay. Sometimes I get confused between jumper and hopper, but the hopper has multiple little dotted lines, I think. So we're going to be cooking through here, platforming to save it. Okay, so yeah, we're going to be taking... I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. So you are going to run. You need to get out of the way of the attractor. There we go. And you need to also float. That's important. So you're going to bump off. There we go. Okay, do you hit... Yeah, hits right on perfect. Okay, so good. Okay, flamethrower yourself through there. Okay, now if I, without some kind of intervention, he will run off screen. So I need to turn him around somehow. Uh, maybe I can do that. I want to, so I'm going to have to jump into, no, I don't want to jump into here. There's no point in going into here. Um... Let's see, how will I turn my run around? I'll probably have to Icarus Wings him up. Yeah, I'm thinking I'm going to have to Icarus Wings him up. Let's see how that... I, I know you use the fan to control that. I actually have played with the Icarus Wings a little bit in practice. Oh, wow, no, he just... Wow, okay, yeah, the wings don't work. Just, he uses them, takes right back off like a shot. So, what I want to do then... This seems like the best place to go into, but I would need to, like, turn around somehow. I think. Maybe get... What would turn me around? I don't have a stacker. A platformer doesn't seem like it'd be especially useful for that. Seems like the simple path would be to get him up through here. We do have also... Well, we also have the rock climber. There is that. You can maybe climb up and up. Oh, okay. He could... Well, this is a bit of a tricky part. I don't know if he'd go over this, but let's try it. Let's see. Let's see if that works. So, yeah. Get your runner going. Get your attractor playing those bagpipes. And then floater. Yes. Now we're going to use the rock climber. We're going to see just how high up the Rock Climber goes here. That may be... I know the Rock Climber can climb over 45 degree inclines. That's important. So, run, and then, yeah, okay. Let's see. What I'm worried about is this little passage right here. Is he going to be able to navigate it properly? Okay, well, yeah, then that works completely. There we go. Okay, so... So, how do we get you turned, then? Alright, we want to turn you around in that case. There's no getting up here, really, and there's no point in getting him to this point. I'm gonna need to turn around somehow. Um... How would I do that? If I jump over the thing, I have three jumpers. If I jump over the exit... Hmm. I feel like maybe the wings are the trick to it somehow, like turning him around. 
Okay, so... No, turn you back. Th yeah, there you go. Okay. Yeah, turn him back around with those. That's the idea. Okay. Okay, so he's just gonna... But I have to wait a little bit to do it. Okay, so there's a bit of a timer on it. But okay, yeah, I can just blow him back with the Icarus wings. That works perfectly. Yeah, there we go. Just have him hit the ground. There we go. So he's gonna walk up... Okay, this is gonna be the tricky part. Using my... Using my guys correctly here. Okay, got that. That wasn't as tricky as I thought it was going to be. So now, two platformers. Here we go. All right. So, I think that may have been too soon. This is going to need to reach exactly across. So, I may... This may need to be a more pixel perfect kind of thing. Although, maybe not. Okay, so that does it. Okay, so now we just have the attractor jump. There we go. Perfect. That was an easy level. That was, well, it's easy once you trust your tasks. Uh, and that can be kind of a hard thing to do sometimes in Lemmings 2, the tries. But now he is going to run drunkenly into the exit, as opposed to his compatriots who just walk drunkenly. They don't get drunk until they reach the phone booth. Otherwise, they seem to be pretty sober, but... I think we're going to go ahead and try to fit in the 10th level today. I think that might be nice to do. Just to get it done. Just to say it's out of the way. I want to see what that level is going to be. Because I I feel like I'm on a bit of a roll now. And I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good about it. I want to see what it's going to be. So, yeah. We're going to go ahead and take down the... Uh, that may result in a long episode today. But, you know, the more lemmings the merrier, I say. Eat my shrapnel. <laughs> Uh, we have exploders so this may be the point where we actually kill somebody so mortars exploders all kinds of just this is the boom boom room right here so yeah we've got a full complement of jobs to work with oh boy okay somebody is going to have to eat it i think based on what i've got here five exploder hopefully not all five of them yikes that would suck but let's see what we're let's see what we're looking at here let's see what we're facing up to so if we come here we're gonna be wanting to seal this up i'm sure somebody is gonna climb up oh i see okay so oh i think i mm, that's gonna be tough to pull off actually if it's what i'm thinking so we go over here the exit is down here so we're going to be platform. Here's our two platformers right here. So yeah, I can kind of see it from here already. Somebody is going to. Somebody is going to. Yeah, I can sort of see what I'm going to be doing here. We're going to need two lemmings to go. So yeah, this is why we have an attractor partially. All right, so. I wonder how many jumpers we're going to be needing. We have five. All right. Let's get them away from the crowd. Okay. One can go for now. Okay. Yeah. So I'm going to be needing one to jump and be the, the rock climber. Now, this is the part that I'm not looking super forward to. This is... Well, it's not so bad. Okay. So... Hmm. No, yeah, I was thinking balloon up here, go here, and then... So, I was thinking... I'm sort of thinking this guy needs to be the rock climber. Do we have any floaters? No. Oh, we do have a slider, though. That's nice. This might depend on an ability to do something that I haven't explored yet. So, we're going to jump over to the wall and climb up it. And... Right as that's happening, four, three, may have done this too soon, one. Okay, that's not so bad. Okay, so what we're going to do now, okay, I'm going to balloon you over. We have a big old, no, I was trying to pop it on the wall, nuts. Yes, much more what I meant to do. So now we have a slider. Can you jump off the wall while sliding? This is kind of predicated on this. No, you can't. That's unfortunate. But do we have a swimmer? No, we have nothing that can really swim you through the water. 
This is kind of what I was afraid of. I may have to take my ballooner elsewhere. I don't think it's going to get you through the hole. I can't balloon you through a hole that small. That's just not going to work. So what's going to need to happen is I only have one more. Hmm. Do I have a runner? No. Maybe the slider needs to come down this wall somehow. That would seem more like what it has to be. But I don't know how you'd get the slider to go down this. Well, you would just make him a rock climber. Well, no. Rock climber and then slide. But then... Hmm. Maybe if you balloon him up through here and blow it up. Okay, this is this is where the level gets tough, I think. I kind of get the order we're going to be doing it in. You're definitely going to use two... Pl well, you could only use one platformer down here. Hmm. No, you would have to use two to preserve as many as possible. So, he goes out, yeah. Because I'm thinking one lemming is going to be killed for gold status. So... Let's see. Yeah, I'm having a... Okay, how am I going to turn this around now? So, yeah, I can't... I think I can take someone with a balloon up through there. But would the explosion get close enough to... Let's see about it. Let's see if the explosion... I, I know I can take a ballooner up through a gap that size. Yeah, okay. So then you would... Five, four, two, one. Yeah, he doesn't get close enough to the wall, though. So then, well, do I have any bashers? No, I do have the mortar though. That's, I'm going to try to work with this. I think I kind of did a little bit of what I wanted to. This could be, this could prove a little disastrous for me here. I'm going to try it though. I'm going to see if I can work it out this way. I kind of got the nook that I wanted. I have a mortar. This is going to, oh, this is going to be so ugly. Okay. Let's try it, though. As soon as he gets up into the little hole... Oh, hey! That worked... Okay, that worked actually really nicely. So I think, yeah, I think that solves it, then. You want your balloon to go up in there, make just the tiniest nook, and then... Unless I janked it, that's, that's very possible. So are you gonna go up over this? Yeah, okay, yeah. So he's gonna go up over that. In fact, he's got quite a ways to go there. Is this a perfectly vertical surface? I can not really tell by the shading. Mm, we're going to let him walk. He's going to walk to the tree here. I need to see about this first. Go ahead and walk it back. Okay, yeah, that's fine. That's acceptable. I think that should get it done. So you go through here. That solves the level. Okay. Yeah, that one was just kind of also a feel-it-out sort of level. So we're going to be taking our prize now. Everybody, you walk, and then one more for you. Yeah, one casualty is all we made. So I think, I think that should cut it. I think we're going to be getting a gold medal here at the end of this level. Okay, Highland Tribe. Highland Tribe I thought was kind of tough, but then it got a little easy in the back half, which was a... Uh, which was nice. Nessie is seeing us home. Love your Tam O'Shanter, Nessie. That is that is some beautiful plaid you've got going on there. And I love the little bobble on top. Very nice. Okay. We're done. We did it. We nailed it. Gold attempt. Award me, baby. Hit me with that ninth metal chunk. Man, it feels like it's been forever since we got a metal chunk. Although that's more because... That's more because I haven't recorded than because we were going through levels slowly or anything. Mmm, how sweet it is. And it is looking good. We are putting this thing together in style. So here we go. What tribe awaits us next time? Next time we'll be diving into, looks like the circus. 
yeah so here we go circus tribe coming up next time on lemmings to the tribes we are fully 75 percent of the way through the game oh my gosh yes indeed